In his efforts to elucidate the physical and chemical characteristics of atmospheric aerosols related to their adverse health effects, Associate Professor Tomoaki Akuda of Keio University's Department of Applied Chemistry, Faculty of Science and Technology, is conducting research on three areas, aerosol collection technology, aerosol surface area, and aerosol charging state. どうしても、ま、目詰まりしてしまって大量に集められないとか、あと、Currently, there is concern regarding the health effects of PM2.5 fine particulate matter, less than 2.5 microns in diameter. Associate Professor Okuda is developing a high volume collection device to simultaneously collect PM2.5 particles as well as coarse particles, including yellow sand particles. This device uses a virtual impactor, and by drawing large volumes of air at high speed into the device, it becomes possible to separate fine particulate matter from coarse particulate matter. Subsequent use of cyclones enables collection of each of these types of particles. え、in an experiment in which carbon nanotubes, known as fine particulate matter, were administered to mice, it was found that as the carbon nanotube's surface area increased, inflammatory activity in the airway cells of mice also increased. By using a technique known as diffusion charging, Associate Professor Okuda has begun measuring the surface area of ambient aerosol particles in real time. In this technique, as aerosol particles are passed through a chamber where a large number of ions have been produced, ions become attached to the particles in proportion to particle surface area, and then the electric charge of ions is measured downstream. Currently, it is now being understood that the surface area of ambient aerosols is significantly controlled by the behavior of specific chemical components that constitute aerosols. です to measure the electric charges of particles, Associate Professor Okuda places electrode plates in parallel and introduces aerosol from the center of the device. Because there is an electric field associated with the electrode plates, the uncharged particles will pass straight through, while charged particles will move toward one plate or another. As a result, the particles are forced to be separated downstream by their charging state. By counting the particles in each separated flow path, the charging state of the aerosol particles can be measured. Another technique used in this study is Kelvin probe force microscopy, KPFM, a type of atomic force microscopy. ま、粒子がある基盤上に乗っていました
について測ることができますので、まあ、ある粒子について帯電状態をまあ測ることができるんじゃないかというふうに考えています。全く同じ資料を KPFM で測った後に、SEM でも測って、帯電状態と化学組成をまあその同じ粒子についてやろうということを考えています